my ginger David Crowder call it. Well, I'm so glad to not only get to talk to you, but you're about to be in my neck of the woods up here in Michigan um, at the Imagination Tour. Um, yeah, that's I, so we, must have, we were out with them in the spring, so it's a good sign that they're letting us come back around. You know, That means we didn't uh, overextend ourselves as far as their insurance policy is concerned and whatnot. No, because <laughs> in Michigan, Southerners are somewhat of like a proverbial fish in a bowl or a bug in the box, whatever you want, yeah. bug in the jar. Like it's, they're fascinated by both the accent or I will say things, you know, that uh, I don't think about. And they're like, can you say that again? And they're like, <laughs> are there, is sometimes it's the way I pronounce something. And I have, I have zero accent compared to my family because I've been in Michigan for a while so that killed a lot of my accent uh, and being on radio. But then I'll have someone up here go, "What?" And or yeah, it's what a, was that colloquial phrase that you brought? Yeah, it's usually it's usually the phrase. From, yeah. yeah, but uh, that's awesome. So you're you're bringing two things, you know, bringing a little country to this tour, but also um, I grew up with Bart, so you're bringing my buddy, <sighs> and I, I love all them guys so much. Dude, they're the best. They are. I mean, I got I got to know him I guess back when I was in college and and um, I, I I love everything that's happened for them they're, they're they're the same people I met back then and goodness gracious I mean, same maturity more, level yep you know, more <laughs> number one hits than anybody else out there ever and and they're the same wonderful people as they've always been I love it they're the best well so I'm I excited could... to be back out with them it's been something we've we've uh, I've been looking forward to for a long time. And, and to get round two with them is just going to be even better. Well, I wasn't able to be there in the spring, so I'm on edge. I'm so excited. Um, and also, um, you're coming during the most beautiful time of Michigan to come during October to uh, see the leaves right. change. I mean, and it's before it's like it's before <laughs> like people. Well, granted, you've been up there a while though. Yeah, I'm telling you, I don't know. I, I, Texans act like they're really tough, you know. It's like, hey man, I'm Texas strong. You know, kind of deal. Uh -uh. The tornadoes cold, do that to I us. I cannot <laughs> deal with cold weather, man. It's like there's a resilient thing that happens for the folks up where you. Try. But my my favorite vacation that we ever took as a family when I, when I was growing up, uh, we we drew, got in the car, drove to Michigan to visit my mom's uh, my mom's cousin. Aunt Debbie is what we called her, and we got to pick blueberries. And it's I can remember being super meticulous about uh, my basket being full of the best <laughs> blueberries, and they were. We 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 do really good cherries up here. Cherries is a big thing for Michigan. <clears throat> I bet they wouldn't let the little kids get on the ladder. So that's probably why we were with the blueberries. <laughs> oh, about it, yeah. We probably I don't know the ladder to, to pick the. Cherries. The, Cherry the winter tree. makes them kids kind of tough. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, and also Micah Tyler will be with you guys. I love him. Um, I haven't seen him live. I've only. Oh, you you're know, gonna flip. I his just voice, love his music. He is, he is like better live if you can imagine that. He's he's incredible and super super great guy too. Funny. This is a great dude to hang with. But man, goodness gracious, I'm excited to be back out with him too. Oh, it's, it's so fun to be out on uh, on the road. Uh, and you you want to see the set, you know, night after night. You want to see what they do tonight, and and uh, that's why I'm I'm excited after being away from them for for a summer to be back out with with the the Bart and Mercy Me guys as, as well as Micah is there, and God gave them a lot. Talent, talent, legend. <clears throat> they're they're really great people, and and mostly because they have incredible wives and families back home, like rooting for them. <laughs> No, they really do. Like, they're, they're, if they didn't have the support system, they have. No kidding. Yeah, that. Yeah, that, that do you know how that is? They got, they got people of gold around them. They do. Wonderful people. Yeah, friends That's like how me. church is yeah. supposed to be. Just kidding. That's yeah. Right well, you know, and we grew up in church together, and he is as goofy, silly, funny, <laughs> and, and just as, like, absent-minded. Like, his mind isn't, he's like, 
He's like a little kid. His play, his he's mind totally is in like crazy. six different places at once, and you can, and you can't hardly follow him sometimes. But uh, it's it's a fun roller coaster <laughs> that you get to go on. <laughs> here's here's the funniest thing that he said to me on this uh, on the spring run. We when we were in Memphis, we got to go to Graceland. You know, where El, that was his house and stuff, and we did the tour. So it was like you know all the Mercy Me guys, Micah and me, and so we're all together. And Brickle, their manager, yeah, was there with us. I know so Brickle. We're up. We got all the way through the tour. And we're wrapping up, and they're they're like, and so anyway, thank you guys for coming. And Bart just leans over, and she cares what comes out of his mouth. And this is so random and out of nowhere. He goes, "Man, so Elvis died, and and uh, and he says the year. I, I can't remember what the year was, but he says the year. He goes, um, that's the same year that Star Wars released. <laughs> I wonder." If he, if Elvis, think about this, David. If Elvis would have seen Star Wars, this would have been a totally different tour. Oh <laughs> my God! Like, who in the world ever thinks Elvis just barely missed seeing the first Star Wars? Because <laughs> he would have had a collection of Star Wars figurines somewhere in that house. It had yeah. been different. We had gold statues of Luke Skywalker that we were looking at instead of like Bart. You were. I don't know. I think I think his where, his personal where does your taste. Mind go? Yeah. Yeah, you, that's and you know it's like it's like a five year old. It's like you think yeah. he's being serious if he's staring, but you but in re, in reality yeah. it's this. <laughs> you can hear the circus thinking, theme he, going he's around. Elvis just barely missed. Star Man, Wars. he just that's missed Star thinking. Wars. Like <laughs> what? It's what a shame. And we could have seen it. some some uh, the Death Star or something out there, and yeah. the, uh, we have a whole room decorated to it. That's good. Yeah. Oh, you, uh, and he was right. That's it too. He yeah. was right. Because if he liked yeah. something, he decorated a whole room. It would be it. all the way there. Yeah. The Jugger room, and then here we got the George Lucas room. <laughs> this is Dance Wing. Welcome to the mi mind of Bart. <laughs> Everybody who thinks he's a creative genius, yes, but. <laughs> but, so, are, so are every five year old. Yeah, exactly. Is he very creative? It's just it's Joel. Uh, Joel, their tour manager, is more like yeah. a glorified babysitter. He's just I've known Joel for years and years, and like he just, he's he just amazing. I feel like he's just always like going, you know, Joel, you know, my, you know, Mike. Bart, no, wait down. a minute, Barry, Bart, get over here, Bart. Get, 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 get back over, over here. here. Hey guys, guys, focus yep. this way. Exactly. This way. Look here. Look. And they're and it's just because they're excited. Yeah, exactly. They need a carrot on a stick or something. Hmm. Awesome. Well, um, so you guys, when I I posted that we were doing this interview, I said, does anybody have a question? And I got lots of people, but a lot of them just saying, tell him I love him. Like uh, Jennifer Bush said, she she was like, tell him I love him. Jo uh, Sean Guerrero, he's a <clears throat> he's a wor he's a worship artist, and he wants to do a wor worship tour with you. Like, I got all kinds of comments like that, but I got a really unusual one. I guess for like years, you've been following a guy named Trevor Cormier. His like handle on Twitter was Phoenix TC, and he's also a musician. He wants to know if you've ever heard his music. Um, most like so. Here's the deal. I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of like a a stalker this way. I, I guarantee I have. Now, yeah. I can't fool him out of, uh, out of but, yeah, thousands of so like, followers. So like, um, like, uh, that, that, like a lion song. Yeah. Um, uh, I found that guy on YouTube videos trolling. I just troll what's happening out there <laughs> and listen to everything. And then when I find something, I'm like, dude, this song, like that song needs to be in a church. And, um, I got it all wrong. This is the funny thing is, so like like a line, I saw it on the YouTube thing, and um, it was like a little, it was like a disciple now uh, yeah. scenario, mm -hmm. and I copied the version that I saw there, and so I recorded it. I did it live on this passion, like a, we do a passion event, the right. first end of January every year, a bunch of college students get together. So I like put this thing down on tape, found a guy, and then he hears the song, he goes, "That's all wrong." And I'm like, wait, wait, what? I just know what you did. He goes, yeah, I, I, I sang it wrong. <laughs> oh, no. So I like did a wrong version of the new song because he sang it wrong, too. I was like, man, this is it. This is, this is, this is how, this how church music happens right here, right yep. here, right now. We got it wrong. Spontaneous it wrong. worship. You should have just yeah. said that. That was just a spontaneous worship moment. <laughs> uh, so well, I, 
I'm always trolling. I just I just love that there's so much creativity in the church and that you can have access to it all now. Um, Speaking of passion, you're coming back. You're coming back in 2020 to passion. It's, it's going to be it's going to be nuts. It's going to be nuts. There's already 50,000 students signed up for that place. It's so awesome. And oh, it's it's incredible. You know, people say, "Hey, uh, church in America is following like the, the the everybody's leaving the church that's younger." Okay, tell that to the 50,000 college kids that are coming from everywhere, all over the. You and know, the several states and several the thousands of people that go to Winter Jam all year. And, totally. It's, yeah. I mean, the church is mm-hmm. alive and well, and, and I can't wait for that. That The collegiate moment is such a moment um, where life can, you, you're deciding, what do I want to be? You decide who I want to be, yeah. What's valuable, and and to, to lend this breath that you have in your in your lungs towards being a part of the story of God, is, yeah, that's, that's it, man. Students get wound up about living for something bigger than just self, and and uh, that's what I love about just the attitude of the generation that we have that's going to make the, the the world into what we'll have, you know, uh, as a future. And and um, I can't wait for how 2020 is going to start. I think it's going to be historic what goes down there in, uh, in Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, my New Year's goodness. Eve, yeah, we'll have a that's in New your Year's stomping ground. Yeah. Um, I want to know, David Wooden is one of our fans that said yeah. he's coming to Grand Rapids and wants to know, are you having a meet and greet? Do you know? We are. You absolutely. Are. Yay. Um, yeah, you can get, I'm sure, however you, you're winding up finding your tickets to visit all through, I guess, Ticketmaster most likely. <laughs> but yeah, we have like a VIP. It's kind of fun. We we roll out. I call it the, the Kenny Rogers uh, Crowder Jamboree. It's like a, we, we get, we, our, we have a mascot is Kenny Rogers, the Arctic Fox that I haul around everywhere with me. Oh my Cause God. you can't, I make, per, I make porch music and you can't have a uh, proper porch music without a proper dog. So we got that's Kenny Rogers for sure. Now. You it's can't... Rogers with a D. It's not to be confused with the gambler. Um, exactly. It, so it's not the same dude. It's, it's actually a, uh, it's a Arctic Fox. It's a girl dog too. That's confusing, but it was named before my brother pointed out that it is a girl dog. So <laughs> Kenny Rogers, the Arctic Fox, and we'll have like, Ding dongs and Twinkies. And RC that is couples. awesome. <laughs> Only the good stuff. Nacho cheese. I got your ballpark. Nacho cheese. Nachos. All my favorite things are in the room with us. And they will get to hang out and say hello and, and uh, you know capture, document our moment together. We'll take pictures and whatnot. I'll, I'll ride on your property. You know, oh, I love vandalization it. with permission. It's cheaper that way. It's it so much fun. Bail money. Yeah. Exactly. So well, we gotta, I know we you figured out. Uh, yeah. You gotta we'll go. You got. I'm gonna get in trouble for holding you back. I do have. Tell Mr. Weed we'll be there. All right, and you. T- I tell you what. This your new album. I know a ghost is so just ridiculous good, and we've been playing it's Red fun. Letters and Let It Rain. But I also have a couple more favorites. I'm loving. I'm leaning on you and La Luz <laughs> with Social Club Misfits. That is such a cool song. Oh, Lord. This summer we recorded, we did a deal out in Florida. We were in Daytona Beach, and they were there at the same deal. And so we shot a video with them, and it is we're about to roll it out here. Um, we just uploaded it for you know all the digital outlets and right. stuff. So we're about to roll that thing out. Man, it, it looks like it is so. It was it's as much fun as it looks like it is. It's that's a fun one, and those guys are the best. I love Fern and Marty. They're they're. Super, super fun, folk. Well, everybody, so we're about to roll that out, and I'm telling you, leaning up, Riley. Woo! Yeah. Oh, with, uh, I love girl. Riley Clemens. Mm-hmm. Oh, she's so she's talented. She's amazing. So I hope we're we're gonna get something to run out the door here soon with that song too, because it's a. Uh, I'm with you. I love it. And uh, it's everything's kind of unique. Some of them, and some of them, like you think it's like I know a ghost. Like you think it's gonna <laughs> stay in that quiet place and then it just like smacks you in the face yeah it's got it's got that LA, it's got that atlanta uh hip-hop roller too. there you we go found that, yeah we found that 808 kick drum and that yeah <laughs> and you've learned a little while you've been in atlanta yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm city folk now yeah partial <laughs> hey you can't give up being a texan that's uh, that's always got to be your pride that's that's in the blood i can't help it or you know Texas, and you could almost claim Arkansas. I'm not sure exactly where that line, the where that line really is. I have relatives it's, in Arkansas, and we go through Texarkana all the time. So, 
It's like it's split down right. It's split right down the middle. State Line Avenue, one yeah, side. That's where all the good hospital. Where all born, the good, and, all the good restaurants are right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you want any kind of food, exit that. That's your exit you're gonna take because that's all we got. From we there got to you, Little you Rock, that's all there is. And that's same way back to Dallas, like you know, you're, if you don't eat in this Texas can, unless you stop it. Like Sulphur Springs or one of them places and get some bodacious barbecue, then then you're then you're good. Well, That's the truth. I will let you go. We will see you on the Imagination Tour October 13 here in, in here in Michigan, and the album's awesome, and we can't wait to see you. Thank you so much. That's, that was fun. Thank you, Have a David. Great day, <laughs> see you.